Can we also just pause to talk about this little cowlick of hair that just doesn't know what he's doing? I love him, but I hate him at the same time. Like, get your shit together, dude. Hi, everyone. Um, Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to do a boxy Lux unboxing for the month of June 2019. I had to think for a second what year we were in because I'm insane. But anyway, um, this month is Boxy Lux. Um, as you know, or maybe you don't know, Boxy Charm is a $21 subscription beauty box. Um, every month it comes with five full size products. Um, but I have signed up for Boxy Lux, which means I get the regular Boxy Charm subscription. But every three months we get Boxy Lux, which is um, a $50 box. Uh, you spend the extra money, but you get a lot more product. Um, and I'm just going to show you what I got inside mine today and we're going to go from there. Um, starters, I got these glue on nails from Walmart because I'm classy as fuck. <laughs> um, and I'm missing the middle nail. It's in my pocket, but I haven't, um, glued it back on. So I'm fabulous for you always. I am just so prepared and professional and... Uh, yeah, so anyway, stay tuned and we're gonna open this big ball up and I can show you what's inside. Okay, so um, when I first opened the box, um, every month has a theme. Um, this month's is Boxy Charm Getaway. Um, it's kind of bent up, but I mean, they had to fit like a bunch of things in here. So I mean, I don't really give a shit about the card to be honest. I'm probably going to be reading off of it. However, the first thing that is like literally leaping out at me is this little silk bag. And I already know what it is because I'm a fucking party pooper and I like to follow the Instagram and the sneak peek pages to know what I'm getting. And it's actually a freaking... Hair dryer. Oh my god, I just dropped the attachment. But it's a little, oh my god, mine's a lavender mauve pastel purpley color. And it's just like a mini little travel like hair dryer. I don't use hair dryers mainly because like I have this like curly mess of whatever and I feel that it usually just kind of makes my hair poof up more and it's honestly just not worth it and it's probably better for me to just sort of let it air dry no, but I'm probably gonna gift this to my mom or one of my friends but maybe I'll just keep it just in case maybe I'll decide to try it once or twice we'll see what happens but I'm gonna look on this little sheet here and tell you what it says um, how much its official cost is and everything like that um, so the brand is PYT and it's a turbo on the go dryer. So yeah, it's a travel hair dryer. Um, it says it will decrease your drying time and reduce frizz and lock and moisture, which I <laughs> don't really believe, but like, I guess like I would be an exception to their claims because my hair is just a beast just a beast <laughs> but um it says basically it's awesome it's just trying to like hype it up in the little description um and it says that it's worth 85 dollars so i'm assuming this is like the bee's fucking knees and like now i kind of want to try it since it's supposedly like supposedly um really bougie and cool but we'll see maybe I'll try it out maybe on a day where I don't have to go anywhere so like I don't make an ass of myself if my hair comes out looking like shit <laughs> but I mean I'm, I'm not talking shit on the brand I just I'm not a hair dryer user but I'm sure it's lovely I mean it comes in this beautiful silk pouch as I mentioned earlier so maybe we'll give it a shot maybe we won't but I think that's amazing that it's an $85 item and a box that you're paying $50 for so that says a lot about boxy charm in general they are always coming through um the next thing that I got in here is this I it tray steak this looks weird as shit hold on hold what okay it says okay i'm not even looking at what the item is on the fucking paper yet but it's a, these I, it has these how to use thingies on it and it says pull off clear cap to access half curler 
Press down along lash line and hold for three to five seconds. Move across lashes to get desired curl. Twist off top for volumizing mascara and apply as desired. Use curler and mascara together to curve lashes up to 186%. I'm sorry. That sounds like I'm going to rip my lashes off. Maybe I'm just like, maybe I'm just in a weird mood because, okay, so this is the mascara. I don't know if you can see that. This is the mascara. Okay, normal, cool. And then, like, I guess it's like a built-in lash curler. Maybe I'm just, maybe I'm just freaking out. Okay, and this is the, this is the thingy. And it says flip down to curl. Okay. Oh, okay. So it's just a, it's just a lash curler. But it says to, like, move it across your lashes. And I don't think that's a good idea. Like, that's gonna rip out my lashes. Okay, maybe I was overreacting. But it looks fucking horrifying. <laughs> but anyway, let's take a look at the card. It's a mascara that has like a built-in clampy boy. So I guess that's okay, except I don't, I really don't like the idea of them pulling across my lashes like what, girl? Okay, anyway, let's see what it says. It says, boop, 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 boop. Okay, Trustique, Good Vibes Mascara is what it's called. It does not sound like good vibes. It sounds like ripping out my eyelashes, but okay. It says, treat your lashes to ultimate curling, lengthening, and volumizing fun with your new Trustique Good Vibes Mascara. This all-in-one lash curler tool and lash enhancing mascara gives you everything you need to take your lashes to the next level, and it's the first of its kind. Uh, yeah, because it sounds horrifying. Okay, if this works well, I will let you fucking know somehow maybe hopefully I always say that I'll let you know and I probably never do but maybe I will I don't know maybe I'll post on my Instagram I'm just very nervous I don't want to like rip out my eyelashes anyway it says that the worth is $25 um so I mean that's a higher end mascara I suppose um I get so many mascaras and like these boxes which I'm not complaining because that means I don't ever really have to spend money on them um because like I feel like it's like the last thing that I want to spend my money on is like mascaras even though like it's kind of important to like have your lashes looking good um I just I feel like it's like that necessity item that I just don't really enjoy spending money on for some reason um but anyway the next thing in the box um we get a living proof full dry volume blast um styling spray okay so th is this okay yeah so it's a it's like a hairspray whoa oh my god i just spray that in my dog's direction he's like mom what the fuck is going on i'm sorry see i love you my dog's over here um hold on let me see if i can he's like mother what the fuck are you doing you're just talking to your phone but anyway i know that a lot of people got like the dry shampoo which I'm glad that I actually didn't get because my hair doesn't really get greasy. Like, I'm blessed. Hashtag fucking blessed because my hair doesn't really get greasy. It's more dry. And I don't really partake in the dry shampoo craze. So, I'm glad that I actually got, like, a texturizer or, like, a... What does it say it is? Let me, let me read from the card. Let me be a good youtuber um it says make some room on your vanity for your new living proof full dry volume blast this styling spray creates instant volume and texture that's almost as light as air for big lasting results on dry hair um it offers uv protection silicone free and safe for colored and chemically treated hair so um it's worth 29 dollars. so this is fucking bougie as shit um maybe if i'm doing my hair for like a fancy event i don't fucking know when that would be but maybe if I have like a party to go to or if I'm having a party at my house, I can make it look nice before I get drunk and make a mess of myself. I don't know, but we'll try it. Um, I'm very excited to use it. I feel like a fancy lady. I've always heard so many good things about Living Proof. I think the brand is very aesthetic, very like gray, like chill, neutral, classy look to the packaging, which is like, what I love, I love gray. I'm a boring, basic bitch, I guess. Who knows? Um, but I think I could maybe get some use out of that. So that's cool. Um, moving on. 
What is this? Oh, okay, this is exciting. I saw that this was going to be in the box. Um, this is from Dominique Cosmetics. Um, Dominique is a YouTuber, um, and I think she's absolutely gorgeous. She has a cute little boy, and you can tell like she just has like the cutest, happiest family, and it makes me so happy for them. And she has her own cosmetics line, and I've always wanted to try something. Um, from her I know she has I think the latte palette is what it's called and it looks so precious and so cute and I've always wanted to try it but this is actually one of her I think it, well, this is called peach tea I think this is one of her glosses um, and it's like a pink gloss this is the packaging that it comes in um, let me do like a little swatchy swatch for you it, this is like a flat doe foot applicator which I actually prefer glosses to have um, and let me just lather that on this is kind of sheared out but like I like that that is cute I like that I think it would be cute like just alone like on top of your lips like a um for like basically like the summer like it's hot out you don't want to like lather on like a liquid lip and then a fucking gloss on top like you can just like put this on and go oh and it smells absolutely delightful like very sweet like a vanilla -y scent. I dig that. I dig that fully. Like I'm really excited to actually use this and the packaging is so cute. Um, let me read off the card for you. Sorry, I'm a mess. Um, so it says, sorry, it's like a freaking hunt to find the products on here because they're all over the place because I'm grabbing at random. Anyway, it says, um, yeah, so it's a lemonade lip gloss is what the line is called. And it says, add hydrating shine and fullness to your lips with a lightweight, non-sticky balm-like lemonade lip gloss. Um, it's a sheer gloss that's long-lasting and flexible, so you can wear it alone or layer it over your favorite lipstick, which I will probably do both. Um, I'm super excited to try that out and see how that goes, so um, maybe I'll keep you updated on that. We'll see. Maybe, maybe not. Um, but let's get this show on the road. Uh, the next thing, I'm sorry I keep fading out. I have to get an actual camera then instead of my phone. But anyway, uh, the next thing that I have found in the box is from the brand Pharmacy. It's the Pharmacy Honey Moon Glow Night Serum. Um, it says with hydrating honey and gentle, <laughs> gentle flower acids, um, paraben free, formaldehyde free, synthetic fragrance free, <laughs> phthalate. I think that's phthalate free, mineral oil free, and cruelty free, which is baller. Ew, I'm canceled. Um, and it says, what does it say about it? Um, it says this pharmacy honeymoon glow is a three in one night serum that resurfaces, hydrates, and clarifies dull skin while you sleep. Formulated with a 14% AHA BHA gentle flower acids blend, so you'll get a youthful looking smooth complexion as the look of pores, fine lines, and wrinkles are reduced. That sounds fucking sick, dude. I hope that it does all that. I have tried the pharmacy face wash that has come in a boxy before. I can't remember if it was a luxe or just like a regular box, but I actually really um, did see improvement and like my breakouts and stuff like after I um started using that face wash I actually really liked it I actually might repurchase it um but I'm just gonna unbox the serum for you it says that it's worth $58 which is so expensive so I'm glad that we got this in the box because I don't know I'm just so very reluctant to like spend money on skincare because I'm a dumbass like I really um I got a sample of the drunk elephant peptide moisturizer um, for my birthday at Sephora and that shit is fucking amazing like immediately like I noticed that it like evened out my skin coat skin cone skin tone and like um it made my face just look so good and it was just hydrating I really liked it but anyway on to this I'm I'm super excited to use this I'm definitely gonna start using it tonight um I I'm thrilled I'm thrilled it looks so cute too like oh I love how pretty all the products in this box have been so far um, so moving right along, the next thing is this, it is the TARDIS, <laughs> I cannot speak in this video today, the TARDIS Pro Glow 3, um, this is, I think, like a contour blush and highlight, I got to pick this, I just fucking dropped that, I swear if it broke, hold on, hold on, oh Jesus, oh Jesus, oh Jesus Lord, okay, hold on. Well, anyway, this is what the outside looks 
looks like. I like the matte touch. Are we good? Okay, we're good. Anyway, this is the inside. And it's basically like a bronzer, a highlighter, blush palette. I am for that. Um, I don't know. I can always use contour products. And it's cute how like it's in a little book like this. And it's easy to like throw in a makeup bag if like you're on the go. Um, but anyway, I got to pick this. It was either this or a, another Tarte Circle Brain Force of the Sea palette, which I've gotten in boxes before. And honestly, those kind of all look the same to me, so I picked this one because I feel like I would get more use out of this instead of another palette with neutral shades in it because I feel like most of mine have that and the last thing I need is another neutral shade, but I can always use some more contour stuff and highlights and blushes, so... I picked this bad guy and I really like the packaging um, so we'll see how it performs I'm not too sure how it'll be but um, I'm excited we'll see I actually almost uh, purchased one of those before so I'm glad that we got this in the box and I didn't have to purchase it um, it's pricing is $45 so that's almost the price of the box in itself so like as you can see like the value of this is amazing um, the next thing in the box is Skin & Co. Truffle Therapy Illuminating Skin Refresh Mist. Ooh, and Radiant Dew. Okay, this sounds really promising. Um, let's read what the card has to say. Um, let me give you an up-close look at the product. Wow, I fucking suck at this. Um, <laughs> it says... Truffle Therapy Radiant Dew is a hydrating mist formulated to soothe, protect, and illuminate the skin. Our glow-inducing tonic is inspired by the Italian legend of St. John's Water, a magical dew produced using flowers and herbs during the summer solstice. That sounds wonderful. Uh, <clears throat> where am I? Uh, enriched with antioxidant, rich, soothing, and detoxifying botanicals such as black winter truffle, rosemary, ginger, peppermint, and damas damasena rose. This refreshing mist encourages a radiant complexion while balancing the skin's pH level, tightening pores, and setting makeup. Wow, so this sounds like a fucking do-it-all spray, to be completely honest. Like, it's saying this is God. I'm about to spray some. Hold on. Okay, hold on. Nothing coming out. Hold on. Hello? Okay. Wow, that smells like very fresh. I like that. We'll see um we'll see how it goes. The first ingredient's water, so anyway, um we'll see what happens with that. I'm excited to use that. I love sprays like and I love getting sprays. I think I just love like hydrating my face and like I don't know. I'm usually kind of dry, so it's nice to get to get those in boxes. Um the next thing is from Dr. Brandt. Dr. Brandt it ain't cheap honey so i'm excited that we got this um it's kind of dirty in the box but i think it just like rubbed off on the like the blackness of the um the cardboard box itself i'm not really peeved about that at all but i thought that i would mention it in case that's something that matters to you um but it's called clean biotic pH balanced yogurt cleanser with chlorophyll <laughs> it says powered by biotic balancing complex this Prebiotic multitasking cleansing yogurt melts away grime, makeup, and excess oil for skin that is hydrated and never stripped. Let the plants do the dirty work. So this is like supposed to be like a super, super clean, um, like makeup remover. So that's exciting. I guess we'll have to try it and see how that works. And last but not least, in Le Boxy Box is a no pore bloom prime essence. So we did get a no pore bloom in a boxy recently and I really do enjoy that primer. I've been going through it like mag. This is like an essence one. And I'm really excited to try this. It looks like this. I really like uh, the brand um, Touch and Soul. They do a good job at what they do. Um, let me read to you about it. Um, it says, let your makeup stay a while with your new Touch and Soul No Pore Bloom Prime Essence infused with Calundula. Aficionales flower extract. This primer tightens up your pores, keeping your skin silky smooth. I like that because my pores are huge. I don't know. Well, not really. I could have bigger pores. I really shouldn't complain. But specifically, like my nose area, like and my chin, like those boys, 
need to calm down. Like they need to shrink. They need to do something because it's not it's not my tea. It's not my cup of tea. But maybe um, this will help with makeup application. I'm really excited about it. Um, but that was everything in my boxy charm, boxy luxe thingy. Uh, thank you for watching my train wreck of a video. Um, thank you for tuning in. I know it's been a while. I'm trying to get back to what makes me happy. I'm trying to be a put together human being. Um, hence, we got this lovely caffeinated beverage here. Um, in case you were wondering, I order. I've had this drink all day, so the ice is melted and I'm a disgusting lady, but I don't mind it. <laughs> I order a venti iced caramel macchiato with coconut milk. That's my order. Go to order at Starbucks. I'm there fucking like almost every day. It's pretty ridiculous. Um, some people smoke a pack a day. I fucking spend $6 on coffee. I mean, everyone has their vices. At least I don't have tar in my lungs. I don't know. Not throwing shade. Fight me. Um, this is mine. <laughs> But uh, anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you have any ideas for videos for me, please leave it in the comments below. Questions, comments, concerns. If you want to tell me that I'm the worst, sure. If you want to tell me I'm the best, I already know. Just kidding. That was my Leo rising um, coming through. <laughs> but <laughs> anyway, thank you for tuning in. I appreciate any time spent watching my shit. I know that I've been kind of chatty for this, but thank you for watching my brain rambles. Thank you for watching this unboxing. Um, and hopefully I will see you in the next video. Um, pet your dog for me, pet your cat for me. Don't forget to like, subscribe, um, show your sister about me. I don't know. But anyway, thank you for everything and have a great rest of your day, babies. And I'm gonna have to fucking lean down and pick it back up because I'm trying to be all fucking dramatic but it's fucking fine it's fucking fine it's fine it's fine it's whatever it's fine i keep dropping it it's fine but um we, oh my god i just kicked you are you okay i love you i'm sorry anyway <laughs> um as i was saying i'm a chlorophyll chlorophyll isn't chlorophyll like bad hold on Maybe I'm reading it wrong. Is chlorophyll bad? Am I thinking of something else? I don't fucking know. Anyway, keep moving. I'm thinking of chloroform. Chloroform is bad. I'm a fucking idiot. I probably should just like drink the rest of this coffee. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>